Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, Professor of Organic Chemistry and CEO of Romano Scientific. I'm here today and I'd like to go over a very important topic with you in electrochemistry. I actually forgot to do this with my study group as well as the group here in New York and it never made it into the new edition of the Destroyer. So let's have a look. I don't know what happened to it. I just forgot to write it up, I guess. We're going to let E0, if you remember from the last class, that's the voltage or the cell potential under standard conditions. Now, when I say standard conditions, it means the pH is 7, all concentrations are at 1 molar, pressure is at 1 atmosphere, and we're at 25 degrees Celsius. Now, obviously, if you go to dental school or medical school and you're dealing with solutions, you're not going to have 1 molar. So that's not um, always going to be the case. So we're going to call E equal to voltage at different non-standard conditions. So E0 is standard conditions. This is non-standard conditions. Let's do an example. I give you two aluminum solid plus three manganese, and it gives two aluminum plus three plus three manganese. And I give you the data like we did in class. This is called the reduction potentials. All right, now, what I want to do is to find the cell potential given these concentrations. We know the concentration of manganese is 0.10 and 0.50 for the aluminum. The minute you see concentrations, you know it's what we call the Nernst equation. So this is going to be the Nernst equation. Now, it looks really hard, but if you think about it, E, meaning the voltage under non-standard conditions, is E0 minus O6, that's a constant, N, and I'll explain what N is in a second, times the log of K, which is the products over reactants as the equilibrium constant. All right, let's take a look at what we're going to first do. We're going to first get the E0, a nice easy way to do it. Aluminum plus 3 is on the left side. Here, aluminum plus 3 is on the right side. So we're going to flip the sign of this. So that's going to be 1.66. Manganese plus 2 is on the left side. Here it's also on the left side, so you're going to keep the sign. Add them up, you get 0.48. If you remembered in the last class, the E0 is what we call an intensive property. It doesn't depend on the amount. So the coefficients are not going to affect the E0. All right, we got the E0. That's money in the bank. Up goes the formula for the Nernst equation. There's the E0, 0 0.48, O6, N. Now, N is the number of electrons transferred. An easy way to do it is just think, what's the common denominator between 3 and a 2? That's a 6. So I put in a 6 times the log of the products, that's the aluminum plus 3 squared, divided by the manganese cubed, just like any equilibrium constant, you omit the solids. Plugging it in and putting it all together, and we're just going to set it up. You get 0 0.48. 06 over 6 is 01 times the log of the aluminum plus 3 squared, which is 0 0.50 squared over 0 0.10 cubed. Be very careful. This is a dangerous problem, and I'll leave it at that for the debt. We don't have this in the destroyer, but you want to make sure you use and you understand how to use the Nernst equation. Tonight I'll give you another handout, so you'll have two problems to practice. So you'll add this to the destroyer questions. All right, for the rest of you, I hope you get some idea of what our class is like in New York, and we're ready to go, and I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.